So you want to make custom shiny Pokemon just like I have here with this scissor? Well, this video is going to show you exactly how to do that. Going into it, the first thing you're going to have to do is download all the download links that are in the description down below. Also, you will need a custom firmware switch for this to work. So if you haven't got a custom firmware switch, you'll have to do that first. This video is not going to show you how to do that. It's a long process. You'll also need a dump of the game. That's very important. Make sure you've got a dump of the game. You can do this in Yuzu or you can do it on your switch with NX dump tool. So first things first, go to this website here, the VG resource. I'll leave a link in the description down below. Go to the top here where it says what you'll need and then models. And what you need to do is you need to go and download some SV models. So this first one is sv-poke.zip. Download that. And then sv-poke DLC 0. DLC 0 is walking, wake and iron leaves. Make a folder for your Pokemon uh, Scarlet and Violet texture mod to be in. Um, make sure you've got like an in-progress folder with output textures and done. Done. These are the shiny textures I've already edited. Not many at the moment. But you'll have the two folders, SV Poke and SV Poke DLC right here. Next, you're going to want to select a Pokemon to edit. So if you go into here, you'll see there's a whole bunch of folders, all with random numbers on, and you don't know what any of it means. Well, these are actually the IDs of the Pokemon that you will be editing. So from generations from 1 through 5, it will be their National Dex number. So if you wanted to edit a Charizard, for example, you go to PMO6, and inside there will be all the files. For the sake of this video, I will be editing a Charizard. However, if you wanted to edit a Pokemon from generation 6 through 9, going back to the website where you got the models from, you'll see these little drop down boxes 6th, 7th, 8th and 9th generation of Pokemon. This will have their number, so for example Houndstone is 1029 and that equates to the uh, folder here 1029 if you scroll down a little bit. Once you've found the Pokemon that you want, copy or control exit, whichever you want it to do, put it into your in progress folder right there. Now if you go into the folder you'll see there's a bunch of um, BNTX files. If you filter by file uh, file type, you'll be able to find them all in one go. Um, these you can't edit, you'll have to convert them into a DDS file. However, you only need one or two of these to be uh, to begin with. So if you run the quick BMS, which you will have downloaded beforehand from the folders down in the, in the description, go to load the switch underscore BNTX dot BMS and then select in your Charizard folder or whatever Pokemon you've gone with Go to the ones that say rare, so body A rare ALB and body B rare ALB. There's no more, I don't believe. No, there isn't any more, so that's fine. It's just the ones that have rare in them because they're the shiny textures. Click open, go to your output textures folder, which you will have created if you follow the tutorial. Save them inside there and you can close off quick BMS. Moving over to the output folders, te output textures folder, you'll see that the two textures are in their own individual folders. To quickly get them out of there, all you have to do is type star into the search box. Once you've got them out, um, they'll just be DD they'll be DDS files now instead of BNTX files. All you need to do now is open up Photoshop, drag both the files into Photoshop like so, and you'll have both the Charizard's um, textures all up and running. Next, edit the shiny textures however you want them to be edited. So once you've done your texture edits like I have, you want to make sure that all the layers are merged together to make one layer again. And then all you do is go to file, save, and this box will pop up. Um, you just want to click OK. And oh, I should have also mentioned actually, you need to download, there's a link in the description of course, I provide links for everything that I do in this uh, tutorial. There is a plugin for Photoshop to load DDSs and save DDS files. So you need that before you do this. If you're using GIMP or another source uh, software, then you definitely need to have a Google for the DDS plugin for those softwares. Now that we're done, you can see that the two files that we exported are both here um, with a actual preview this time, if you've got this enabled on your NVIDIA graphics card. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna load up the BNTX injector. What we're gonna do here is open up a file. We're gonna go to our where our Charizard folder is, PMO6 in the in progress folder. We're going to find the uh, the first one, so body A rare, B BNTX, load that up. Then we go to replace, go to the output textures, find the body A rare ALB file that corresponds to it. Double click it, uncheck these two boxes, leaving only the top one checked and optimal. Click OK and that's it. You don't have to click save, you can just open up the next one. So there we go, all locked and loaded. We can now delete these if we want to because now the actual texture mod is finished. So the, the, we don't have to do anything else with this at all. All we have to do is put, make a copy of it somewhere, go to where, um, make a new folder called, po um, well, name it your texture mod. So for me, it's JW texture mod. Um, so JW texture mod, make a folder called Pokemon, 
and then data and then this is where you're going to store all your pokemon files so there's the charizard like that go back to the folder that has pokemon in it and i'm going to delete that for now go to add archive make sure it's a zip not a raw call it something that you want it to me so i'm going to call it jw customs there we go and this is where your your game dump is going to come into effect so open up trinity mod loader which of course there is a link to that in the description down below it's going to load up your game dump if you haven't done this before it'll ask you to select where your game dump is so just tell it where your game dump is when it finally loads your mod you're going to want to go ahead and delete that add mod add the zip that you just made check the box click apply mods and just like that, it's done. It'll load you up into the ROMFS folder. You want to go back a bit to where you've actually got the ROMFS folder. Load up your Switch SD card. Go to Atmosphere, Contents. And for example, Pokemon Scarlet ends in 5C000. You'll have to figure out what Violet is because I don't know what it is from the top of my head. Go into there. Delete the old ROMFS one if there is one. And drag this new ROMFS folder that you've copied into there. So you go to your program C where it'll have saved. Control X on the ROM FS, go to Atmosphere, Contents, back into your folder, and then paste it into there. And then that's that's it pretty much. All you then have to do is eject your SD card, go back into your game, and it'll be there ready for you. I'll show you in a second. As you can see, the Charizard's textures have been changed in game to reflect what I made in Photoshop. Not the best shiny in the world, but you know, just for the sake of the video. So no, no, no judging, all right? No judging. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, of course, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, all that wonderful stuff. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.